What's going on everybody and welcome to day 11 of content repurposing tutorials where I'm sharing 30 days worth of time saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a carousel inside of Canva. Before we head on over to Canva, this is a perfect time for you to be able to repurpose some content from something that you've already posted. Maybe it's a video, maybe it's a former graphic or quote or something like that, but we want to bring out some quick tips that we can utilize inside of Canva. So I recently posted a video on Instagram about this very challenge or tutorial series that I'm doing. And three things that I'm pulling out that I'm learning throughout this series is that I have to have a great amount of discipline, consistency, and service. So that's what I'm going to base this carousel off of so if you haven't already decide what you want to talk about is it going to be different tips or are you going to bring out pictures graphics what is a carousel going to be about now let me make sure that you understand what a carousel actually is a carousel is just a series of words or images that are all together in one post so it's not necessarily a video it's not just one graphic or one picture but it can be anywhere from two to ten different photos or images or a mixture of both that you can share in one post on Instagram. Let's hop on over to Canva and get started. All right, now here we are in Canva and one of the great things that you can do is always search for the type of content that you wanna create. So I'm gonna go right here to that search bar and press or type in carousel. Canva has a number of different templates that different creators have made that you can literally utilize and not have to start from scratch. So let's look through the here and see something that I like that I could utilize. They'll have different amounts of pages and things that you can customize. If you look here, you can see that this has six pages, but you can also see the pro. So if you have the free version, you wanna look for something that doesn't have that little crown and you can move forward with what is free, but the ones that have a crown, you will need the pro version of Canva, which I always recommend that people have that before moving forward. So we're just gonna pick something simple today. So I'm gonna go with this free one right here for tips four, because I have three tips that I'm gonna be utilizing and it has more than enough pages for myself. So I'm gonna press customize this template to be able to customize it to what I need. Now that we're here inside of this template, we can see I have a title page and I have three tips, which is gonna work great because that's exactly what I have in mind. One of the things that you can do to quickly change this over to your brand colors is you can click brand. I believe the free version, you can put in one brand and have your brand colors and logos included. And for the pro, you can have as many as you like. So for this first page, I'm just gonna click this colors here and press shuffle and it's gonna change this page according to the colors that I have inside of my brand. So I'm gonna click through here, so do I like best? Um, and I always like this teal as one of the strong colors, but what I think it's gonna do is going to make all of, if I were to apply to all pages, just like I thought, it would make everything uh, teal. And that's not necessarily the look I want for this one. So I'm gonna press back. And so I'll go to this page individually and press shuffle again, just so I can see what else it has in mind in terms of the color. So. Uh, I don't mind uh, having the white there and even having some of the red. Maybe I'll just change this red color into maybe teal again. So I'll continue down to this page right here and go to my brand, shuffle that, see how we like things. Maybe I will incorporate the red for this one. Why not? Okay, great. Go here, get a couple different looks just to kind of mix things up for the eye for folks. Do I like that? That's a little bold. So let's go. I'm gonna do this one on white page as well. And maybe I'll just have this be the yellow. Great, and then this last page can be that bold teal, the, the full teal situation for the end. Okay, great. I already told you what my three tips were from the video that I posted recently, so I'm gonna repurpose those tips to go into a carousel. Oh, tips four, that's a YouTube series. I don't know what it's going to be like to make for YouTube series. We're back green. YouTube series, great. My first tip is going to be, and I'm just going to change this number one to white so it makes it easier to read. All right, tip number two, consistency. Number three, service. All 
Okay, now that I have my tips here, what I'm going to do is make sure that all of my names are correct. So I'm going to put Abby, teaching a fart. Do not forget to change this because it might be a little bit embarrassing because my name is not Connor Hamilton. And I'm going to change the at name down here to Abby teaching afar and I'm going to take off the website because I use my Instagram primarily. So one of the easy ways that you can do this to make sure it gets on all the pages in the correct spot is just copy this. We're going to scroll down to the next page. We're going to delete this but make sure you're on the page properly and paste it and it will paste in that same place. So if it's white letters you need to just change the letters. So we'll go through each page and delete this one, paste it and change the color. We'll go down to the next page, delete, paste, change the color. Excellent. That is done. Now we need to grab this, copy, delete, paste. What we'll do now is we are going to change the color, but then copy this one since the rest of them are white as well. Go here, delete, paste. Oh, paste it in the wrong place. So we're going to make sure that we copy it here and paste it on this page and it should go right in the same spot. So copy, delete, paste, and does it have it on the last page? Yes, delete, paste, change the color back to white because this is a darker page and make sure I grab this one at the very top for the last picture, for the last page. Great, okay, take off the website. So I like to do all of these in a row so I don't forget a step instead of just trying to go page by page and fix everything. Okay, great. So we have three different images with text on this carousel. And what we can do is we can export it and send it right on over to Instagram. So we're gonna take a final look through the design to make sure that we like everything that we've put in here and we can download it and airdrop it over to our phone if you have an iPhone. Or what I like to do is go over to my phone, open up Canva and just download it from the Canva app into my phone so I don't have to airdrop. So I'm gonna plug up my phone and I'll show you that process right now. Let's head on over. All right, so here we are on the phone and we're gonna go head on over to Canva. And the great thing I like about it is once you have one account, everything is kind of integrated. So we see the project here and we can click on it and we can just make sure all of our settings and modifications are looking good in here. And if I've showed you before, you can just press this one here because they're gonna have all five pages download. Head on over to Instagram and make sure we upload it in order. Now let's go on over to Instagram and I'm gonna press this plus button right here. And let's make sure that we start on the first page. So I press the first page, press this icon right here, which means that we're posting more than one image or graphic. And now once we've done that, we have page one, we're gonna have page two, three, four, and five and we can press the next button. Now we can make sure everything lines up. Press next, and this is where you can add your description. You can choose to draft it or go right ahead and post it. Now I wanted to show you all just a simple way to be able to create a carousel right now using templates within the Canva software. There is plenty more ways that you can do it. You can do it a seamless way and things of that nature, but this are from our beginners or people who just needed a simple way to be able to get some thoughts or images out there and on your profile instead of just in your mind. So I hope that you're gonna use this method right here. Please comment below with the type of information that you're gonna share in your next carousel. If you don't already have a a copy of your content repurposing tutorial content calendar and journal you can grab that in the description as well join me tomorrow for day 12 where i'm going to teach you how to make a question graphic